my biggest mistakes in teaching early on was somehow believing that the way I experienced sound in my body was somehow going to be the same way my students would experience the sound in their body. For example, when I produce a pretty open vocal tract belt, I feel like a bullfrog. Old me, if I were coaching a student through the same kind of sound, would have said, okay, so this really needs to feel like a kind of bullfroggy sound. And if the student doesn't experience it in that way, they often start to manipulate their vocal tract or their vocal fold coordination to try and achieve this bullfrog kind of quality, when in reality, their version might wind up feeling something like my favorite, singing out of their unicorn horn. This is the biggest problem in utilizing prescribed imagery as the foundation for your teaching. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to, one, understand how the voice actually works from an anatomical perspective, and two, understand that just because you experience something doesn't mean your students are going to experience the same thing when they make a similar sound. If you wanna learn more about evidence-based tools to help you up-level your studio, please like and follow. And for those of you really ready to take the bull by the horns, every summer we have a teacher training program called Voice Function 101, where you can receive a level one teacher certification in evidence-based voice pedagogy. Go tap teacher training at our link in bio.